Hey everyone, Swarp here, continuing the Duelist with Roses, um, I think this thing is called the TCG mod, um, playthrough, playing this mod so you guys don't have to, um, seeing what it's all about. Uh, let's go deal with Keith, I guess. Uh, we got some really, really broken cards, um, off of, uh, hidden cards last time. Darkness Approaches and Mirror Wall, that's, uh... That's pretty disgusting. Um, it looks like all of them are right in front of you, so you can't miss them. Well, um, let's see. Maybe we go for a Trihorn this game. We have two of the cards. How bad can this go? Oh, hey, an equip. Opponent actually using an equip? This is weird. I didn't complete it, huh? Hopefully that means that they made it work on more than just slot machine. Because I'm going to be a little scared if he played a slot machine turn one, considering it's seven stars, so it'd be five. Oh, man. I ever mention I hate this game's card shuffler? Well, these Labyrinth trains are going to do a great job of keeping me from actually maneuvering. Um, hopefully that thing's dark. So I can paralyze it for a turn. <sighs> it is, so... Paralyzed Mechanical Chaser. I have drawn absolutely terribly. Well, um... You... Let's hope we top deck a Feralint. That's our plan. Top deck Feralint. Or, you know, draw any of our four equips in our deck. Or a Curse Breaker. me another turn. Unfortunately, my Curse of Dragon might die here. It's a real shame that we're boxed in by Labyrinth Terrain for no good reason. I'd uh, like to draw one of my three Nails of Bane in the top, you know, half of my deck, though. That would be nice. Oh, hey. An Ancient Tool. I know a couple of people from college that uh, that would have uh, applied to. And that's not a term of endearment. Oh, hey, a feral lamp. Let's go. Okay, so Curse of Trihorn. I hate rituals. Absolutely hate them. But sometimes it's all you got, so it's what you go with. Um. Yeah, we had some answers to Mechanical Chaser that weren't that, but... Still haven't drawn any of my Eclipse. So this Trihorn is still quite weak. Um, honestly, if I just drew a, even a red eyes, like, this would be okay. Or, you know, my Metal Morph, or... Huh? What? 
What? Okay. Let's see, the AI is definitely not any better. Oh, look. Okay, Trihorn's gonna get over everything now. Oh, hey, a Metal Zoa. He didn't fuse for that, by the way, so... Yeah. Um, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I'm probably certain that... Oh, that's not good. Yikes. Uh, okay. That's definitely not good. I was uh, blissfully um, just um, playing without any care because I dealt with a Metal Zoa and uh, I had a 4,050 attack creature. I figured that was good. Apparently, I wasn't. Yikes. To really like to. I, I know what I'm gonna do next turn, so it's fine. I just wanna bait him out a little here. I wanna make sure I don't get blast jugglered again. I'm uh, in the. All of the good cards in my deck are in the bottom half, so, you know, pretty typical. Um, you know, there's a Metal Zoe in here. And last time I checked, it's strong on Wasteland Terrain, so... Yeah, sure, it doesn't get the bonus that... from my Lord of D, but... I'll take the extra 150 attack and can move two spaces for... for the exchange. You know, maybe at some point I'll actually draw my, um, Metal Morph and just, uh, have a Metal Zoa of my own. But, uh, deck's not gonna be that kind to me. Both my Red Eyes Summon Skull and Metal Morph are all bottom 10, so. Pretty typical. Finally, here's my metal more. Hi, friend. Oh, bye, friend. Uh, so the best cards I could get from this guy are probably all of the equips. Um, but I'm not really trying to play machines, so... Oh, Blast Juggler is insane, actually. Oh, hey, we got a Blast Juggler. I'm going to just assume that uh, 7 Completed works on all the machines. That's pretty good, honestly. Um, seven completed is a... Uh, machines needed more buff cards, so I understand. Um, let's see what this reincarnation pool looks like, though. 
uh, also this blast juggler is going in the deck for absolute sure. Um, uh, these demons still need to go, huh? Let's uh, take out another one for. You can put in blue eyes. That's fine. Let's reincarnate this machine king. Um, I'm gonna use save states because I want to see what's in this pool. Oh, Sword Stalker's kind of broken. Meteor Dragon would be great. Um, we can put in a Meteor Dragon, because Meteor Dragon uh, fuses with Red Eyes. So, that's good. Uh, let's get rid of one of those. Okay. We still don't have a extremely high deck cost, so that's nice. Um, considering, like, our opponents are at, like, 1900, so I'm not terribly worried with my 1500 deck cost. Let's go up here because this guy has lower deck cost than Pegasus. And Pegasus is usually a pain. Uh, wall Shadow, huh? Oh, a Jiragamo. Just giving me one, huh? Uh... Hmm. Well, I have everything drawn for uh, Curse of Trihorns besides the Trihorn, uh, the Curse of Trihorn Dragon, so might as well. Oh. Well, uh, we might as well go for it, right? It's only our first four turns of doing stuff. Oh wow, the AI discarding cards. This hand must be utter trash, also that's probably the Deckmaster KI K AI. Um, that's just something that Deckmaster K's AI loves to do. So we have spent four turns and a ton of summoning power playing this card. And it's just a 3350. It's probably just going to die to some trap or something. is just discarding cards. I should actually look at what those are. Oh, a Sangha of Thunder. It is like an okay card. Not a card I like want to put in my deck, you know? Um... Doing this is actually weaker than just playing a red eyes by itself. Because of my leader powers. Metal Morph and Metal Zoa are going to need to come out of the deck sooner rather than later. I'm kind of wondering what this guy actually has in his deck, considering he has a forest field. Um, and I'd assume he's just playing Labyrinth stuff, so Jiragumo, like... Oh my. Okay, well. Just uh, play one of those. Okay, that's big. Um, he has a warrior leader, so it decreases the power of dragons, which is unfortunate. That's why my Curse of Dragon couldn't get over his card. Um, I'm guessing this card's Curse Breaker. Well, that's the card I actually wanted to draw for once. 
Because, like, a Lord of D would be really nice right now, so I don't have to deal with any of his um, spell and trap stuff. So, most of these cards are absolutely terrible. And that was a curse breaker. Just take Nails of Bane. No. Okay. I have two dragons here that I know do, so... What did I just run over? Magical Labyrinth. That would be, um, annoying if he'd actually play it, but, um... I know this isn't Labyrinth Ruler's AI, so... It doesn't act like it at all. <sighs> Curse of Dragon. For some opponents, you're amazing. For this one, not so much. Oh, that poor dungeon worm. It ran into an MDD. So, this gave me the hidden card of Dragomo. Um, if I were playing Insects, that card is absolutely busted. Hey, we got a Labyrinth Wall. Giga Tech Wolf. Ugh. Complete garbage. I don't know what this guy's deck was really going for. Maybe it could summon a Gate Guardian? Um, but compared to, you know, these dragons that we have, that seems pretty abysmal. I don't really agree that Curse Breaker should be a 20 deck cost equip, but I understand where it could be 10. Um, otherwise I'd go try to put it in my deck right now, but not that useful. Oh look, Tomb Terrain. Oh hey, I right ran. Oh. Hey, the mirror wall finally showed up. Guess we win. What I'd actually like to draw is a Curse of Dragon, and put uh, Nails of Bane on it, and then we just win the game from there. Um, so... Just play this in defense and move forward. I'm not too scared of him because we have a Mirror Wall. A Mirror Wall is absolutely the most broken card in this game. It looks like Pegasus is AI at least. Why does Blue Eyes get a bonus on two? Oh yeah, that was in the patch notes, right? Same with Red Eyes, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that could have been a very quick victory there if that wasn't a Tears of the Mermaid. Um... Let's do this. I don't really want to take a direct attack from that card on the right, so I'll move. I should have hit him directly with that, honestly. Oh hey, a monster reborn that we can't get in the slots. Sweet. I'm assuming Nails of Bane works on this, so... Uh, technically I should just use the Red Eyes straight up, since it's already tuned. 
for some reason, because apparently Red Eyes without a tune in its name is a tune creature now. Oh, uh, well, that's a trap dot gift. Not a trap, some sort of monster, huh? Or, sorry, some sort of spell. Oh, it's a house of adhesive tape. Okay. Why do these Pegasus have house of adhesive tape? That card's awful. Well, we got one of each card. Um, Illusionist Faceless Mage has a decent special. Um, Tears of the Mermaid's a great card, and House of Adhesive Tape is absolutely abysmal. If I look at House of Adhesive Tape and it's more than 10 deck cost, I'm going to be very, very, very mad. I mean, Invisible Wire is 20 for some reason, so... Okay, why is this 20? Sir, I have two invisible wires. What? I don't understand. Why would you do that? Why? Why? But why though? Uh, we'll just get rid of one of those for tears. Um, you know, I should just put Jiraigamo in the deck. It's like, it's 40 deck cost, and that fairy dragon I just removed is also 40 deck cost, and Jiraigamo has double the attack. It's, uh, basing deck cost off of summoning Summoning cost is not the best idea. That to me seems like a recipe for disaster. But what do I know? Seems like I could probably make something broken. The Dragon Seeker is useless. Uh, that's a Cosmo Queen. Uh, throw an invisible wire at her. It's a monster, at least. We know that much because it was played on the right. Uh, we don't need this baby dragon, so we'll get rid of it. Hey, a dark elf. It's actually a decent card. This is pretty solid, so... That could be big and problematic. Hopefully it's not big and problematic. It is not big nor problematic. It is small. Super small. Oh, goody. Swords are revealing light. Do I have lethal? No, that does not look like lethal. But it looks like a lot of damage, so... Uh, I have 2,500 here. Um, I had a decent amount of damage there. This, this duel is very over, though. Okay. 
Well, um... That was, uh, easy. My opponent played a Mystical Sand and lost the game. I guess the Dark Elf did nothing. Next to nothing, right? Um, the hidden card was pretty useless, um, which I mean, I don't expect them all to be useful, it's just we started off with one that was, or a couple of them that were extremely broken. I guess we never saw Rex's. You know, let's uh, actually go see what Rex had, right? Oh, I exceed his summoning cost now. By 10. There's gotta be something I can just remove. I'm throwing a fake trap, that'll work. At least that way I know to remove it later. I'm pretty sure I can get Rex done this amount of time, unless his deck is actually strong. Which it wasn't too good to start with, although it was decent because uh, Curse of Dragon makes Wasteland terrain. Oh, I wasn't missing anything. Also, we won. <laughs> also, we won. Uh, just discard cards that aren't useful. Wow, my opponent did the same. Except he attacked into a mirror wall. <laughs> With a creature that was probably not getting over that anyways. Actually, it was 2750. It had a chance. Is that a curse breaker, sir? Yeah, it was. Hmm. Why play Trihorned when I can play Curse of Dragon for instantly with an equip. Sir. Mirror wall lasts forever. Only your AI knew that. I had to make sure I got lethal because if I didn't move forward it wasn't lethal. It would have lived with 25 HP. They've got in the business of letting them live. Okay, let's see if we can get any decent cards this time. That is not a great card. Ignores. No, summon skull. We could use that, maybe. We need more red eyes. I'll probably look up between this episode and next on how to get more red eyes. Um, otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.